Hey, hey pals. This video is for all of you needlepoint makers, crafters, designers, and artists out there. If you are doing a needlepoint and you know you're going to have it framed, there's a, something you should do while you're stitching. So I'm gonna show you this piece right here. I love this piece. Uh, the designer is Alice and Blue. Uh, and my customer bought this at Bayhead Needle Point in Bayhead, New Jersey. So I am getting this ready to be framed. And I thought it would be really good to take a minute and show you what can save your needle point and make it look extra. Alrighty, so I've got my mat here. And when you're cutting a mat, you always, the, the framer always has to cover the very edge of the piece. Uh, that's just because a lot of times things aren't 100% square and so to get it to look good, to get it to look finished, we cover about 16th of an inch. However, that's normal for most applications. Artwork, diplomas, certificates, photographs, etc. Uh, with needlepoint, your, for you guys at home, while you're doing this, a sixteenth of an inch might just be one stitch. But because a lot of times needle point come in and they are not square, they have to be blocked. And although I got this one pretty square, uh, if you take a ruler and measure, it's not perfectly square. So by eyeball, it's great. But when you start to compare it to a perfect straight edge, you can, can see that little bit of white showing, but down here it's touching perfectly. So for needle point, you want to do a selvage edge while you're stitching. So this piece, although all of the cows will be seen, I have to cover this stitch. Now, if my customer had known this, which I don't think she did because she's very new to needlepoint, this stitch, we actually would prefer to see that because the cow, we wanna see the cow perfectly, but the way this might get framed, see that? It's a little bit too close. I can't do anything about that. But the artist, the maker, while you're stitching, my tip to you is to take your background color and stitch two or three stitches extra. And then when you go into your framer, you can let them know, hey, these three stitches I put there, I know they can get covered, so please feel free to cover them. That way, when you get your piece back, it is exactly where you want it. So just stitching those two or three extra stitches on the edge will really save your piece and make it look so perfect when it's framed. Uh, all that hard work you do, take however much time, I have no idea because I don't need a point, <laughs> but take that extra time and do extra border stitches. Uh, you know, this is green all the way around, so that's just one color. If you're doing a landscape and you have colors of the ground and the sky, you know, you can do... You, you can extend the background. It doesn't have to be the border of a single color. And in fact, it's better to just take the colors that you have on the edges and extend them out. Um, that way it's not noticeable. I hope that's helpful. I hope that's something that um, will help you with your needle crafts. All right, stitch away, pals. I'll see you next time.